Hey everyone, I am back with another video, and I am going to be reading Bubble in the Summer. If you don't know the author, I'll tell you again. It's by Dan Gutman, and we are going to be reading The Under Werewolf, which is chapter 2, and you'll hear the weirdest thing that has happened. So, the, so I hope you enjoy the book of chapter 2. And we are going to be reading chapter 3 in the next video. So, let's start reading. I was fast asleep, which makes no sense at all, because you can't be slow asleep, can you? You don't sleep slow or fast. You just sleep at one speed. There was an empty silence. I opened my eyes. It was dark and spooky outside my bedroom window. I heard the sound of rattling chains, and then, suddenly, there was a light shining through the fog outside. It was a flashlight. I think that's when the window opened all by my itself. And then, somebody climbed into my bedroom. Ah! I screamed. It was a boy. He was wearing white underwear and no pants. That was weird, but everything about him was weird. He was weighted down by heavy chains. I saw it with my own eyes. You should have been there. My eyes had to adjust the light. It was hard to see. Finally, I figured out who the boy was. It was my friend, Billy, who lives around the corner. I am the underwear wolf, Billy announced. And then he let him out an eerie cackling laugh that totally freaked me out. I was trembling with fear. I, I thought I was going to die. Ah! I remember that Billy dressed up for Halloween last year as the underwear wolf. He's basically a werewolf who wears underwear, so he has the perfect name. Billy is weird. I was sure my mom and dad were going to come running into my room to find, to find out what was going on. But they didn't. I guess they didn't hear anything. Billy, you scared me, I told him. What are you doing here? It's the middle of the night. Shouldn't you be home asleep? I come with the warning, AJ, Billy said in a spooky voice. You have been the bad boy, a very bad boy. Wait, I said, you just broke into my house in the middle of the night just like a, dressed up like a monster, and I've been a bad boy? That's right, Billy replied. What did I do? I asked. I'm not going to tell you, Billy replied. But you will be haunted by spirits who will come to visit you. You must listen to them or else. Or else what? I asked. You'll find out, he replied mysteriously. Oh, come on! I told Billy. That's just crazy. It was. And to prove it, Billy let out another eerie, eerie Catholic laugh that sent shivers down my spine. You know somebody's crazy when they let out an eerie Catholic laugh for no reason. You must believe me, AJ, Billy said. The spirits are coming. When? I asked. When will they be here? Very soon, he replied. The first one will come. In the next chapter. That will be on the next page, I shouted. Suddenly, the weirdest thing in the history of the world happened. Billy jumped out the window. He made another eerie cackling laugh on his way down. That was it. He was gone. I guess it was just a bad dream. So, that's the end of chapter 2. And I think you heard the weirdest thing in the history of the world happened. But if, but if, you, but if you want to go over chapter 1, go to, go to the, my other video and then you'll see the chapter 1 video. And, the next, and we're going to be reading Ghost, The Ghost of Summer Past in the next video. Which is chapter 3. So... Uh, yeah, and, and, and we hope that you have a nice day, stay safe, keep your family safe, and keep on praying to God about your forgiveness and to be healed. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, guys.